This video shows some very basic information on some of the different styles of carriage driving bits. Getting the correct size and type of bit can be quite tricky and often be trial and error until you find one which your horse is happy with and performs well in. Different styles of bits can also be used to correct certain mouth issues. You measure the size of the bit from inside cheek to inside cheek, allowing a little extra for sliding cheeks. The Liverpool straight bar bit is the most commonly used driving bit. The straight bar puts more pressure on the tongue than on the sides of the mouth. This bit is reversible, one side is serrated and one side smooth. You will notice this bit has swizzle, swivel cheeks, which allows the bit to slide up and down, helping to keep the mouth more responsive. Generally, swivel cheeks are used for single horse, whereas fixed off a pair. The slots on the shank of the bit, where the reins attach, allows variation of leverage. This is a Liverpool bit with a lozenge mouthpiece. The oval sh shape of the link puts pressure on the tongue while reducing the nut cracker action on the tongue as you would with a snaffle mouthpiece. You will notice that many of these bits have brass coloured mouthpieces. This is known as cupro nickel or German silver and helps the horse salivate keeping the mouth softer. This is a butterfly bit with a Myler style mouthpiece. The leverage on a butterfly is less than with the Liverpool with the longer shanks. You will notice that the bit has quite a wide port, which in operation lies slightly flat back on the tongue, so it is making it more difficult for the horse getting its tongue over the bit. This bit can also help with slight steering problems as the cheeks swivel independently from each other, so pressure on the mouth is only on the side that you are steering. This is a Liverpool bit, but again, as with the previous butterfly bit, it has the same Myler style mouthpiece, giving the cheeks independent swivel action. The three slots on the shanks of the bit offer a varying degree of leverage. The Wilson snaffle bit, a loose ring snaffle with the addition of two floating rings inside the cheek rings for attaching the cheek pieces of the bridle. Reins are usually attached to both rings. If the reins are attached to the fixed rings only, this bit can become very severe as it tends to press the horse's face between the cheek piece rings. The jointed Liverpool has a joint in the mouthpiece as you would with a snaffle, with the nutcracker action on the tongue. Some horses prefer a jointed bit to a straight bar, only with the Liverpool you have the two variations of le leverage, so this is stronger than a snaffle bit. This is a Shetland or small pony Liverpool bit which has moving cheeks and an arched mouthpiece which curves upwards instead of outwards like the mullen mouth but allowing room for the tongue to sit comfortably. The action of the bit is very similar. This bit is proportioned for Shetland or small ponies and as you can see in the video it is up against normal sized Liverpool bit. This is a butterfly bit with an arched mouthpiece which curves upwards allowing room for the tongue to sit comfortably. This bit has a serrated side and a smooth side depending on the severity you require. This is a butterfly with a lozenge mouthpiece. The oval shape of the link puts pressure on the tongue whilst reducing the nutcracker action you get with the jointed mouth bit. If you want to drive a pair, the butterfly is a better bit than using the Liverpool as there is no shank for the horses to get coarse on the pole, etc. This is a Shetland or small pony butterfly driving bit, which is moving cheeks and an arched mouthpiece, which curbs upwards instead of outwards like the mullen mouth, but the action of the bit is very similar. It has serrated edge on one side and flat on the other. This bit has been designed and proportioned for Shetlands and small ponies. This Liverpool has fixed cheeks and a slight curved mouthpiece. It has three slots for varying leverage and it is a little more severe than the moving cheek Liverpool. 
The French driving bit with jointed mouthpiece. The cheek piece of the bridle go onto the small slot of the bit and the reins go either on either of the two rings depending on the leverage required. The action of the bit works on the pole and is very good for horses that get above the line of control as it puts pressure on the pole which helps to bring the head down. This is a Liverpool bit with a low or soft port. The low port relieves pressure on the tongue but at the same time it still gives you the same action as a straight bar Liverpool. Please note that all the bits shown in this video come with curved chains and attachments and graduate in half centimetre increments starting from 9.5 centimetres to 16.5 centimetres.